Hey guys, welcome to the Real Estate Wholesalers Club, Justin Chamness. <clears throat> I'm actually out at a property right now and I want to go through it with you. I know I have a lot of people ask me, um, or they say, hey, I wish I could go through a property deal with you and just show me what you kind of look at. Well, let's do that right now. Just me and you, let's go take a look at this one. Um, I hope you can see it pretty good on, on Facebook Live. Um, but anyway, we're going we're gonna to do something here. And I, before we do it, I want to tell you if you are uh, unconfident with going through properties, it's okay. A lot of people are. Um, just go over to the Files tab in this group, and there is a uh, wholesale property analysis form. And basically, it'll kind of give you the idea of what you're looking for. And it's what I call the Big Five. And on that page, there's also, in that file, there is a, um, a list of pictures on that same page. And you'll just want to get those pictures. Now, I'm not going to do those pictures today because I'm, I'm on video. But um, normally, I would just snap those photos right there that I have listed out. And then um, make some notes on the big five. So if you haven't looked at that, go check out that property analysis form. Um, in the files tab of the Facebook free mentoring group and because it's got all that information on it and it'll help you so anyway let's take a look at this one all right I'm not going to tell you the address or nothing it's going to be mysterious um, we're outside it, it actually looks pretty good it looks like a nice neighborhood and um, that's one thing that I noticed right away is the neighborhood look, looks pretty nice. This house here looks pretty nice, actually. It could be nice. It doesn't look real nice, but it could be nice. That's one thing I'm noticing. Um, the big five, though, let's start there. Here on the outside, um, I'm going to take a look all the way around, but um, I'm going to start with the roof. I have to back up. And it looks like the roof has a big dent in it, um, like it's kind of caved in. So there's going to need to be some, some roof repair there, pretty substantial. Um, so I'm definitely going to notate that on my, on my uh, property analysis form, if that makes sense. I hope everybody can hear me okay. It's kind of muddy out here. Um, I am going to notice while I'm here and walking around that the siding is vinyl. Also, that there's a gas meter. Okay. Um, the gas meter is important because that lets me know that there's gas service here in this house. I'm also going to take a look and see what kind of windows there are. These are kind of the old school windows. And that might be okay. Okay, it might be okay to have old school windows. It's good to have vinyl siding. If it's not vinyl siding, it's going to be asbestos or something like that. And that's bad. You don't want that. Um, actually, you might want that because... <laughs> That's quite a quite a wrap and re repair job there, um, and you might get a good good discount on the property. Uh, on the front, I wanted to show you, it still looks like the same old school windows. Sometimes when these fix and flippers come in, they just put new windows in the front if the old ones are okay. So I'm just kind of walking around the outside. I can see the foundation looks pretty good. Sometimes you have to wear boots. <laughs> I did not. I wore loafers. And so, uh, sorry I'm talking kind of shallow here, but neighbors are watching me pretty hardcore. So I think it might be... I'm wearing that, it makes me look like a burglar. Okay. That's something I'm gonna make notice of. It's a it's an air conditioner condenser. Okay, it looks kind of old and crappy, but at least it's there. Okay, so I'm gonna make a note of that. The big five, the roof, the foundation, right? Makes sense, right? The HVAC and furnace which we checked out here there's gas probably running to a furnace when we go inside we'll look there's the air conditioner condenser 
that means there's air. HVAC is heating and air conditioning and ventilation. So it has a lot of in my back. I think I paused out for a minute. Um, okay, so I'm slipping and sliding a little bit here in the mud. I'm gonna try to back up here into the the backyard and take a look at the roof again. It it looks like it. Needs okay, so anyway, that's kind of the outside tour. And so far on the property analysis form, I've taken care of the roof. And I've taken care of the outside part of the HVAC. I also saw a, uh, I don't know if you saw it or not, but I saw the electric meter. The electric meter. So it does have electric. I'm getting visited by the neighborhood dogs. Five dogs running around me. Okay, I'm going inside. Sometimes you have to deal with that stuff when you're out and about. All right, so I'm indoors. Take a looky here. Um. So, <clears throat> it's just a house. Nothing to be scared of. So far, all we're seeing inside is cosmetics. Yeah, I confirmed that these are kind of the old school windows. I'm going to write that down on the property analysis form under the um, cosmetics section. You can see the walls and the ceiling all need a little help. Kitchen. Definitely needs help. A lot of fix and flipper guys will take this wall. Now we're kind of in the living room. They'll take this wall and they'll remove it. And they'll put what's called an LVL beam. Okay, and it'll go up here. <laughs> and what it'll do is it'll support, you know, the roof and the ceiling instead of this wall. So then you'll have a big open space between the kitchen and the living room area without a wall. Actually, probably do the same thing over here if it's necessary and make it open space right from the kitchen into the dining room, into the living room. Probably about 1500 bucks total cost. Has hardwood floors. That's that's nice. Bathroom. Oh, do you think we need a new bathroom? Anybody out there think we need a new bathroom? Mm-hmm. I think we need a new bathroom. <laughs> I think we definitely need a new bathroom in here. But again, that's kind of all part of cosmetics. You might think on the sheet, the property analysis form, that that is not cosmetics, that that's plumbing, <laughs> okay? But no, this is cosmetics. Okay, the plumbing is referring to pipes and so on and so forth. This is another little half bath. So, so far, nice size closet. Old school windows. This is a bedroom with a half bath. This is a bedroom with a closet and some windows. That's what qualifies, just so you know. If it does not have a window that you can crawl out of and it does not have a closet either or it has to have both those things or it's not a bedroom okay here's a third bedroom all right I'm also going to take notice that we've got a uh, thermostat okay 
downstairs. This is a split level, by the way. That's what this is called, this make of house floor plan. So I'm going to go downstairs, and here we're going to finish the big five. Well, it looks like we've got some cosmetic work to do down here. Holy cow. Somebody loved this cheap brick paneling and uh, some of that ugly old 70s stuff. The floor needs to be repaired. The ceiling needs to be repaired. But all cosmetics so far. What's in this closet? Nothing. Okay. I don't know if you can see this very good or not, but this is the water heater. Okay, it's not a hot water heater because if, if it was already hot, you wouldn't need to heat it. It's just a water heater. And over here is the furnace. Now, you can't see it too good because it's on camera, but it's actually all there. And it looks like it's old. So probably will need to be replaced. While I'm down here in the basement area, which turns into the garage on a split level, I'm going to go ahead and finish checking the foundation, which is also part of the Big Five. Uh-oh. What did I find? Big crack. But you know what? Not a big deal. Uh, you see where this board rests on the concrete as long as that's flush you don't see daylight there and there's not a lot of movement in this wall meaning pushing in or out the crack that's easy to fix while i'm down here i'm going to check to see if there is an electrical panel and there is and you can see it is a fuse not a fuse box it is a breaker box Okay, it looks like the old school breaker box. All right, so it doesn't look like it's been upgraded. So might want to do that in this neighborhood. While I'm down here, and this comes from experience, part of the foundation, <clears throat> I should have done this a minute ago, is I go and I find the columns that are holding this house up. Okay, you see this big steel column? That's holding the house up. That one there. That's holding the house up. You see this big steel beam running across here? Okay, that's holding the house up. You see where it lands in a pocket over here on the foundation? That's holding the house up. Okay. It's steel. That's great. That's great. The foundation on this property, awesome. The roof, okay, so th let's do the big five real quick because we're, we're pretty, pretty close to done. The big five is the roof. The roof needs work. The foundation looks awesome. Okay. Three, electrical, it needs to be updated. Okay. Number four, HVAC, that is the uh, furnace and air conditioner condenser. It's all present. There is ductwork run. It's central air, central heat, but you know, the pieces are old, so it needs to be updated. Number five, plumbing. While we're here in the basement, we're going to take a look up. And we're going to see what kind of pipes there are. Here's copper. Copper's good. Okay. I don't see much else. Let's, let's take a look at these pipes. Copper again. This house is full of that kind of pipe. Okay, so anyway, so that's how you complete the Big Five inspection. Okay, now if you need to know what it costs to repair those items, take your pictures and take your analysis form and show it to one of your trusted buyers that you established a relationship with in like step two. Okay, they will be able to help you analyze that and get a ballpark figure and that's all you're looking for is a ballpark figure and once you've done it once or twice like that you're good i could tell you what it is here in my market but i don't know about yours okay
So that kind of wraps it up. I hope that was helpful for someone. Um, on the pipes, it would have been bad if they were the old lead <laughs> or maybe galvanized. Okay. So that's, you know, I'm going to make note of all those things. See, you're not here to be a contractor and give an estimate. You're here to collect information and then present it in a fashion that someone who does know will know. Okay. Uh, you're here to ballpark. That's basically what you're doing. All right, guys. That's it. Check us out on YouTube. Check us out here on Facebook, free real estate wholesalers and lease options mentoring. We'll talk to you soon.